Hi, I'm from the Safe Mission team, here to talk to you about Legionella and the checks we carry out to keep people safe from harm by it. Legionella is the name for a type of bacteria. It's found naturally in water, but if allowed the right conditions, such as warm, stagnant water, it can grow. If aerosols of the bacteria are breathed in, it can cause illnesses that range in severity from flu-like to pneumonia-like, and in extreme cases, it could also be fatal. The good news is that it can be easily controlled and the risks reduced. This is mainly through preventing water from stagnating, keeping hot water hot and cold water cold. That's why it is important that we do what is reasonable, carrying out some simple ongoing checks and actions to prevent it from having ideal conditions for growth. Working out what Legionella risks are present in our building can be quite complicated. So we use contractors to advise us on what we should do. Every Salvation Army property should have had a visit at some point from a Legionella risk assessor or site surveyor. This would have generated a report, the front page of which, or the cover, might look similar to this, which would give us information and guidance to follow on what we would need to do to keep Legionella risks reduced. From this Legionella site survey or report, there are two key sections that tell us what we need to do to keep the risk reduced. What is written on these two sections could differ depending on the premises and water system present. The first of these two sections will be a list of physical actions and alterations to the water system in the building to reduce risks. This is often called something like remedial works. I have an example of one here. So it would specify the location of where the action is required, what action is needed, give a priority rating for it, and then it might give a rough costing for it. On your hard copy of the report, you can sign off when the relevant works have been actioned. Following any report being carried out in a Salvation Army building and things like this being identified, these remedial works should be actioned. Sometimes they might just need some work locally to resolve it, but there are other types and other times when there might be more complex work required, such as structural alterations or removing dead legs in pipe work, repairing water heaters and so on. These works should be planned in and actioned through your relevant regional property and facility services and if relevant, divisional headquarters. The other section of the report that would detail what checks are needed on an ongoing basis to reduce the risks is often called a Legionella control scheme or recommended scheme for control of Legionella. On this document, it would detail what checks need to be carried out to reduce the risk and at what frequency. So if we look at this a little bit further on this example, you'll see on a weekly basis, the recommended infrequently used water outlets to be flushed through. This is things like taps and toilets and so on that don't get regular use and flush through to prevent water in these areas from stagnating. On a monthly basis, they recommended the testing of temperature of water at taps or points called sentinel taps and points. In plainer English and non-jargon, this is the nearest and furthest points from the boiler or water source to make sure that the water is cold or hot enough as required. If there's a thermostatic mixing valve present, or TMV, in a sentinel area, i.e. a valve that mixes hot and cold water together before it gets to the hot tap to prevent scalding, they recommended that a surface temperature thermometer was used to take, check the temperature of water in the pipework before it gets to the thermostatic mixing valve to make sure it was at the right temperature. They've also recommended for calorifiers, or again in non-jargon and plainer English, hot water boilers, that these are checked to make sure that the water being kept hot inside them is hot enough. The majority of this video is going to concentrate on how to do these monthly checks. But if we talk a little bit further about some of the other ongoing checks that might get recommended following a Legionella site survey or risk assessment, on a quarterly basis, they might recommend things like descaling shower heads and spray taps. So this would require dismantling them, cleaning them and descaling them to remove any sludge and scale which could protect or harbour Legionella and help it grow. A similar sort of check is carried out on a six monthly basis in that they want you to check surfaces as in taps and outlets and so on to see 
if they are scaled up and if they are scaled up to descale them as needed. Again, because this scale could provide a food source or potentially protect or harbour Legionella. And then there are some other less frequent checks, such as those on an annual basis. For example, checking cold water storage tanks or cisterns. So carrying out a visual inspection of them and checking the temperature of water inside them to make sure that it's cold enough. Or looking at some other taps in your building and taking some temperatures at a representative sample of them on an ongoing basis or a rotational basis. Some of these tasks or checks can be quite specialised. For example, this one here about flushing through the hot water calorifier or the hot water boiler to make sure that there's no sludge and things inside. But a good amount can be done locally. If, however, you are unable to carry out some of these checks, you should consider sourcing a contractor who can do them for you, which property and facility services should be able to assist you with. There is, however, obviously a cost for this. Normally, forms are provided by the Legionella Site Surveyor or Risk Assessor Company that specifies on them what ongoing checks they want you to carry out at what frequency, and this would be in line with what they recommended in the Legionella Control Scheme, or to give it its other name, the Recommended Scheme to Control Legionella. So if we look at this example here we've got up on screen, which is a monthly sheet provided by a Legionella contractor. They have written down for you in terms of hot water, cold water, the sentinel points, the nearest and furthest, where they want you to check, the ground floor toilet sink, and they're given a space to record that temperature for hot and cold. They've also said in terms of calorifiers, boilers, hot water storage vessels, where they want you to check, the ground floor boiler room. And then there's somewhere to record if there was any issues on what action has been taken or needs to be taken and somewhere to sign it off generally. So depending on what you have on site and what was recommended in your Legionella control scheme will depend what is written on this form. For example, if you have a large water system with lots of sentinel points, then potentially there's going to be more areas for you to test. Equally, if you have a large system lots of hot water storage vessels, calorifiers, boilers, then there's going to be more of them to check. And also, depending on what you have on site and what was recommended in your leads under the control scheme, will affect what other forms you've been provided with to record the checks required at other frequencies. So if you can't locate these forms or you think you are missing some, please contact your relevant Legionella site surveyor or risk assessor contractor and ask for them to be sent to you. Alternatively, later on in this video, I will show you where there are some example safe mission forms that you can use for this purpose and whereabouts they are kept on the infonet. Looking at the forms provided by the Legionella site surveyor or risk assessor company to record the ongoing checks will also show you what they recommended is carried out. On a monthly basis, if relevant, this may include the temperature of water at taps which are in the nearest and furthest points from each boiler or calorifier, as well as checks on the temperature of water stored in, leaving or returning to each calorifier or boiler. For checks that you would carry out at the taps that are at the nearest and furthest points from the boiler or calorifier, take a probe thermometer like this, similar to what you might use in the kitchen for probing food, and for testing the hot water, Run the hot tap for a minute and put the thermometer into it and take a reading after one minute. It should be at 50 degrees or above. I'm obviously not going to wait for a whole minute because that would be quite a boring video for this part of it. For the cold tap, do exactly the same except it wants to be 20 degrees or less and it's two minutes that it's allowed to do that in. Once you've finished these temperature checks, record it on the relevant part of the sheet that you've been provided with. If you have something like a calorifier or a large water heater in your building, like this, then it is likely the Legionella survey will have recommended that you check the temperature of water being kept hot in here or leaving and returning to it. 
To do this, you will need a surface temperature probe like this, which has a flat end rather than a pointed food style probe. The difference between the two is that the flat end helps you get a more accurate reading and reliable surface temperature reading. To work out the temperature of water inside the boiler, put a surface temperature probe against the pipe of where water leaves the boiler or calorifier and take a reading once it's settled down. This will give you an idea of what the temperature of the water is inside. When water is being kept hot inside one of these, it should be at or above 60 degrees. Some systems have a circulating loop. That means when water leaves the calorifier, it goes on a loop all the way around the building before coming back and into the boiler and getting heated up and then going off again. The reason for this is to ensure that taps that are really far away from the boiler would not have to run as long to get hot water, only coming off this little loop rather than having to wait for it to come all the way from the boiler. Where you have a circulating loop, you need to check the temperature of water coming back into the boiler to ensure that it's at or above 50 degrees. So for example, this is where it's coming back into the boiler. You have to put it onto the pipework and then check that it is at or above 50 degrees. If you do not have a circulating loop, then you only need to check the water leaving the boiler, rather than sometimes what is called the top and the bottom temperatures. You only need to check the top. You might also need to run the taps to ensure that the water in the pipes, such as this one here, if it's a non-circulating loop, is fresh hot water from the calorifier or boiler. Sometimes in carrying out these monthly checks on the water store in a calorifier, rather than taking the temperature of water in pipes, you might have areas on the boiler itself where you can put your surface temperature thermometer. Often a hole cut in the insulation at the top and potentially at the bottom. Obviously not on this one because it's a much newer type of boiler. Equally, depending on what type of system you have and how it's been designed, you might have thermometers that are built into the pipes already, like we have here. So in carrying out your monthly checks of the water stored inside the boiler, you would be able to just read the temperature off the thermometer. Helpfully, sometimes following previous survey reports and recommended follow-up works, these pipes or areas that you need to test have been labelled up for you. If in doubt, normally, the flow of water from the boiler is normally a pipe coming out of the top, and the return of water could be somewhere halfway down or towards the bottom. However, it's not always right down at the bottom because some of the pipes that are lower down the boiler might just be mains cold water going into it. As we need to keep water hot to reduce Legionella risks, we can cause another problem, a scalding risk. As a compromise, you can get something like this. A thermostatic mixing valve. This is a device that mixes together hot and cold water in the pipe. So hot water and cold water mix together through this before it gets to the pipe, regulating it at a safer temperature before it gets to the tap, which will prevent people from being scalded by it. This would, however, cause a problem when you're carrying out Legionella temperature checks in that the water from the hot tap, which is being regulated to keep it safer, would not actually be representative of the hot water in the pipe. To get round this, you would need to use a surface temperature probe, like this one here, the flat end. Run the taps as normal when carrying out the monthly checks, but instead put the surface temperature probe on the hot water pipe before it gets to the thermostatic mixing valve. This will give you an idea of the temperature of the water in the pipe. Thermostatic mixing valves on other sinks should be regularly tested and maintained as needed to make sure that they are working properly. After the testing has been completed, please record details of the results on the forms which have been provided by the Legionella Site Surveyor or Risk Assessor Company. You should monitor any issues identified and take action to reduce them as needed, such as poor water temperatures. If the forms you need or the report itself are missing, contact them and ask them to send them to you. Alternatively, other versions of these forms and Salvation Army guidance on Legionella are also available from the Safe Mission Infinite site. 
To access safe mission information and guidance on Legionella, as well as other topics via the Infonet, firstly go to the Infonet homepage, then from across the top, highlight Business Administration, and a drop-down list should appear. From this drop-down list, select Safe Mission, which will take you to the Safe Mission Infonet homepage. From this page, across the left-hand side, select Tools and Resources and click, which will take you to where we keep all of our Safe Mission tools and resources designed to help and assist you looking after Safe Mission. For the purpose of this video, we're looking for Water Hygiene and Legionella Guidance Forms. So again, go onto this link and click which will take you to the following page, which is where we keep example forms that you can use if you need to, to record ongoing checks that might be recommended in your Legionella control scheme. For example, any monthly temperature checks or weekly flushing checks or shower head and spray tap cleaning records, as well as a guidance document that we produced. We tried to put some things into plainer English Bit less jargonistic and give you a bit more information on what all of the checks that could potentially be carried out are, who might do them and how you might do them, as well as how to go about using these forms. If you want to access the same information through our hub, from the our hub homepage, Go to Property and Safety Hub down the bottom of the page and click, which takes you to the Property and Safety Hub. And from here, click on Safe Mission Tools and Resources, which takes you to the same Tools and Resources page that I showed you when I showed you the route to get there via the Infonet. And again, as before, click on Water Hygiene and Legionella Guidance and Forms which will take you to the same page that I showed you earlier, where you have example forms for recording ongoing checks and our water hygiene guidance note. So our guidance on Legionella and water hygiene. Every two years, depending on the level of risk of your site, you'll be revisited for another site survey by the Legionella Site Surveyor or Risk Assessor Company, or you'll be sent a questionnaire that you need to complete and return to them this is to see if there have been any changes in the water system that would then affect what checks or actions are carried out to keep the risks reduced. If you send off a questionnaire, you will not be revisited unless there have been changes to your water system or if there have been changes to the rules. Right, action. action. And the award, the Oscar for the best pretend safe mission geek, goes to Aaron Smith! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> speech, speech. It's a dream to be here. Um, all those hours and days I put in and practice and I never thought I'd be here. I'd just I'd like to thank my family, uh, my producer, Graham, my <laughs> manager. I'm just speechless. Thank you. Thank right. you. It means a lot okay. to me to receive You're this award.